Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's another lovely day, lovely summer day here in Moscow. And today we have something exciting. Yeah. <laughs> um, yesterday my brother, my oldest brother, brought his wife, Julia, and his son, Daniel, here uh, to Moscow because they are actually not living in Moscow. So they're gonna stay here for a week. And we plan to spend a lot of time together going to some places, sightseeing, and things like that. Today we are gonna go to Moscow's planetarium. I already have a plan to visit this place. First we're gonna see the exhibition they have there, then we're gonna see a movie. And it's not gonna be just a simple movie, it's gonna be a pretty exciting one. I'll show you the place and you will understand why it's so exciting. And yes, by the way, that's Daniel on the right. In Russia, we call him Dania. And he is a little bit more than a year older than George. So now we are in the center of Moscow. And now we need to walk another 10 minutes to get to the place. And yes, my boys sometimes fight. <laughs> It does happen, luckily not too often. Oh, as you can see, Moscow here looks absolutely different from the place where we live. Different types of buildings. And even the road here is old, made of bricks. That's Julia, that's Dan. So here we are, that's the place and by the way it was closed for many many years and I guess at the time when George was about 5 years old, 6 years old, it was renovated and finally opened again. So we are in, I already bought the tickets for the exhibition and for the movie. And we are a little bit early, we still have to wait for like 20 minutes until they will let us to see the exhibition. So I guess now we're gonna go and see what they have here in the souvenir shop. They actually do sell meteorites here, like little pieces of them. But the prices bite. In Russia we say that prices here are out of space prices. But I joke, saying to my kids that we can always buy space socks. That's the cheapest thing that they have here, I guess. <gasps> now we were surprised to see that they have planets that are made like matryoshka toy meaning that you can actually split them open and put the smaller one inside the big ones that's cool they also have rockets like this and cosmonauts Oh, we found a good shim of the building, so now we know where we are and where we need to go. We are over here and we need to go up to Uranium Hall, and then we need to go even higher to the big cinema hall. Oh yeah, and they have this thing over here, a vending machine that actually sells space food. And oh my god, I'm surprised to see what they have here. They have a cake in the tube. And then they have nuggets, they have Texas burgers, Sicilian pizza. Guys, are you kidding? I cannot even imagine eating a burger from a toothpaste tube. I actually think it's disgusting. I don't know about you. Now we are finally at the exhibition and they have real pieces of money right here that you can actually touch. Алёша, эти кусочки падали из космоса, они летели в космосе. Потом пролетели через атмосферу, горели. А потом приземлились на Землю вот такими пластами. Ты что это было в космосе? Это не земного происхождения. Иди потрогай. Вау. 
Гоша, интересно? Да. Железный, да? Да, слушай, прям, да, металлический какой-то. Интересный. Пойдемте посмотрим э, солнечные часы, про солнечные часы. Пошли. А вон, да, это все солнечные часы. Открывали, ставили на свет, и видно было, да, как они идут. Солнце двигается, и двигаются стрелки. Алеша, смотри, это эти самые карты звездного неба, старинные. Copernicus is here, of course, the one who proved that Earth was moving around the sun, but not the other way around. They have models of planets here that you can turn, and that's the moon. Вон Австралия. А, мы сверху. Мы сверху, да. Мы там? Еще выше, да. Что за планета? Это Венера. А это что за планета? Мальчишки, что за планета? Марс. Смотрите, какая планета Марс. Она вся в кратерах. Здесь раньше реки. Здесь, возможно, реки текли. Смотри. Это же по-настоящему сделано. Да не просто так, от балды, Гош. Алеш, красиво? Найдешь землю? Алеш, найдешь землю? Где земля? Вон земля, да. So they have a big solar system over here. And on the background they show how planets move. And over here to the left, this wall here represents the sun. Wow, and over here they have models, little models of moon rovers. And not only that, they also have something like a moon station. Like if people would build a moon station, it would look like this. With a special unit, with uh, solar batteries for electricity and then a unit where people would live a unit where they would work and a separate one for hydrophonics a place where people would grow food for themselves this is mind-blowing to think that maybe one day this is actually going to be built there on the moon and people would be living there this is amazing I found a little display here where you can find the exhibits and actually read a little bit more about each. They have lots of lots of tiny pieces of meteorites here. Oh, this one is really amazing. You can actually see its crystal structure. I think it resembles something. I think I think it resembles an electrical board. That's very suspicious. Another display where you can find information about each of those little tiny meteorites and over here they have a bigger ones bigger meteorites that you can oh and we've made a circle we are back at this big solar system model that they have here and we notice that the information on the background actually changes they also show each planet separately and 
say some information there about each planet. And yes, finally, we are taking our seats to see the space movie. And the most exciting thing here is that the ceiling is actually the screen. It's not flat, it's bended. The seats here are made in such a way that you're not sitting in them, you're laying in them. So while watching the movie, you will actually feel like flying, like moving together with the camera. Whoa, guys, the movie has just ended. It was 40 minutes long. What can I say? Yes, I did have a feeling of flying together with a camera. Like, it was so realistic. We were flying from one planet to the other. And by the middle of the movie, I began feeling seasick, like really bad. I felt I was going to puke. I even had to close my eyes. Now we are at the outdoor part of the exhibition. As you can see, they have a model of the Stonehenge here. And yeah, they have those big solar clock here. But it's cloudy and we cannot see the time. A few moments later. Oh wow, and the sun has come out. So yeah, we managed to see the time. It's almost 4 p.m. They have other types of solar clocks smaller ones and over here they have a globe with star clusters wow this is interesting this pole shows direction towards certain places and the number of kilometers these places are away from Moscow. Singapore, eight and a half thousand kilometers. Madagascar Island, what else do they have here? San Francisco, a little more than 10,000 kilometers away. Tahiti Island is way down there. New York, almost 8,000 kilometers. Now we're gonna go into a little science museum for the kids. It's within planetarium and it is called Lunarium. From the word Luna, meaning moon. And yeah, you can push the buttons here, you can actually touch everything that you see here turn and twist all the handles to see how science works. I think our kids will love this place more than anything else they see today. We found an earthquake simulator here and of course each of us had to try how it feels. This thing allows you to choose the type of the earthquake you want to feel, like the minor one or like the maximum one. This experiment shows how the radio waves and internet waves are hindered by different materials such as glass, wood, plastic, metal. You know, it's really exciting for the kids to be here and to learn a lot of things like this, just playing with stuff. Whoa, you can make your own tornado or a cloud. The only problem I see with my kids is that they are in such a hurry to try everything here that I cannot make them stop for at least a moment so that I would be able to explain to them the meaning of the experiments, you know, the aim of the experiments. Uh, like each time they see something new, I have to say, just stop, wait a minute, wait a second, let's read the explanation, uh, like explanation of the experiment. Yeah, but I guess that's a problem with like a lot of kids, that they are too active. <laughs> you know, I remember that when me and Val, we just got married and we were spending our honeymoon in Vienna, Austria. We also visited a museum like this, a very similar one. I think we have the same thing that we saw there. 
and even being adults, it was interesting for us to go and try all the experiments. Yes, I can understand how kids, how excited the kids are. Алёша, зачем ты открыл землю? Закрывай скорее. There is a robot hand here on the wall that you can actually move from the distance, like you can move its fingers. And I notice that everyone who comes here, like kids, adults, like you know, everyone, all of them are trying to make the very same thing with the hand, like the same gesture. My kids are not exception here, unfortunately. Well, I guess, yeah, kids have grown up, but <laughs> they know all the gestures now. <laughs> the bad ones as well. Все, улетели наши дети на Луну. На Луну. Даня, ты, мы сейчас промахнемся мимо. Даня, ровно, ровно. Сейчас промахнемся мимо Луны. Да. Ага. Вот. Ну, да, осталась воронка, да? Класс. Этот белый. То есть, видишь, разные газы. По-разному. Ксенон синеньким, аргон красным тоже. Оранжевый красный. Да ты что? Обалдеть. А здесь радуга. And of course, such place had to have a Fouquet's pendulum experiment as well. Вот когда когда комета летит, у нее таким же образом образуется хвост. Понятно? Льды тает. Here Alex is trying to use this manipulator to pick up the sample, to put it on the platform, and to find out what sort of stone this is. Well, the kids loved it here. We actually spent almost the whole day here. And now it's time for us to go home. But the kids are so tired and so hungry. And it will take us another 40 minutes to get home by metro. So we are stopping at KFC to eat something. Yeah, a little bit of fast food to refill my kids' energy batteries. So I hope you enjoyed my today's video. See you later. Bye-bye.